What's up, y'all? It is holiday day time. Um, so real quick before I jump into these, um, this will probably at least probably be the last haul that I'm recording before um, my wife's uh, parents and little sister arrive visiting visiting us from the Philippines. Um, we're actually going to be taking a trip to L.A. Uh, to go pick them up and and spend the weekend in L.A. Um, so, you know, I've been busy. You know, uh, I I always say it. I wish I could, I could do more than just these haul videos, but... You know, that's just, you know, that's, that's just how busy I've been. Um, a, a really good indication of, of how busy I am is I'm not even posting on Instagram. Um, for those that don't follow on the Instagram, you know, it's like I usually am posting a bunch of like store sightings and stuff like that. But, um, you know, sometimes toy photography, stuff like that. But, you know, if I'm, if I'm really not posting on Instagram regularly, that, that really is a, a major indication of how busy I am. Um, I at least try to keep up sharing haul videos with you guys, uh, if nothing else. Um, and again, I do apologize. You know, for me, I, I feel bad sometimes when I have nothing else to to upload other than haul videos. But you know, it's 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 at the, it's the very least I can do to at least, you know, keep some activity here. Anyway, let's jump right into these. Um, uh, you know, sorry, no, actually before that. Uh, so, again, you know, my family's going to be here. They're, they're going to be visiting uh, for, like, over a month. So, you know, videos might be slim, but I will still try uh, to keep, keep up with at least some hauls. If I got hauls to share... Uh, and, and hopefully, who knows, maybe mix it up. You know, I will, we will be traveling to LA, um, in the time they're here. We'll also be traveling to San Francisco. Um, you know, and every time we take trips, family trips, I, I do take, uh, tons of videos and I, I, I just don't get around to sharing them. Um, even, you know, if you've been following, you know, I went to Japan, uh, last October, and I still haven't uploaded videos from that, so, anyway, I, I'm gonna try, try to share some stuff soon, but, anyway, for now, here's some hauls, um, Ross, uh, so, previously, I had found, uh, Lars Ulrich and Robert Trujillo, this I found Kirk Hammett, Really cool. So I'm just one away from completing the band, and you know, of course, I gotta have that James Hetfield. Um, man, I <laughs> being such a fan of Metallica, it'd be cool to finally have like a set of toys I never got, like the McFarlane ones or any other ones. So it'll be cool to have a, a set of the band. Um, but for now, awesome that I scored three of them for only two ninety nine. I don't know if I'm. I mean, I would imagine if I found three of them, then all four of them did hit Ross. I'm going to keep trying to find that James Hetfield. Uh, if not, you know, eBay, Amazon, I, I got to have the whole band. So, Moving on. Target. Just a couple of cars. Um, so these, <laughs> these metal machines by Zuru. I, I thought it was interesting when they came out. I was like, okay, there's a new kid on the block, like from a completely different brand, like n not one of these other kind of off brands that have been doing diecast for a while. Um, unfortunately, I think uh, the line has failed. I mean, who knows if we'll see more, but like they're all on clearance at, at Target right now for 38 cents. Um, so if you were interested in these at all and haven't got any, Go check your targets. Thirty-eight cents, not bad for a for a one sixty-four diecast car. Um, these were the only three I felt like getting. I might go back and get some more, but these were the three I really wanted. Like I almost wanted to grab these even at regular price before. Pretty cool. I don't know if any of them. I imagine. I think the metal machines. N none of them are based on actual, you know, 
uh, car, so there's no licensing issues there. They're all probably inspired by, you know, real life cars, but just not actually licensed. So there's that. And then I got a stack of shirts <laughs> from various places. So first from WWEshop.com. Oh man. The man, Becky Lynch. So I've been needing this shirt in my life, and I was just waiting um, for it to catch a deal. You know, the shirt's twenty seven ninety nine at full price. Yeah, that's a lot to pay for a for a graphic tee, especially when I get the majority of mine. You know, at places like Target. You know where they're twelve ninety nine or Walmart where they're only like seven eighty eight and other places where I I get them most of my teas I get for for less than you know fifteen bucks so to pay even twenty you know it has to be something that's really worth it for me luckily I, I caught this shirt you know huge Becky Lynch fan I don't know if I've mentioned it in the past now it is another thing if you know me and I haven't probably haven't mentioned her name in a long time but you know i was super obsessed with alexa bliss you know for like the past couple years uh but at the same time i have said if i'm i don't know if i've ever said on video but i've said like in conversation with friends and stuff uh if there was no alexa bliss my favorite would be, be Becky Lynch, you know, of, of the current women's division. Of course, that has slightly gone back and forth, um, especially since Mandy Rose. Um, Mandy Rose is just amazingly beautiful and hot. But, you know, character-wise, wrestling-wise, she doesn't come close to, to either Becky or even Alexa. So, anyway, Becky Lynch, <laughs> she is the man. Awesome, awesome. So I had to get this. I, I uh, uh, so I caught it on a deal. Like I think it was like during thirty percent off. Um, you know, with shipping, it was still like a little over twenty bucks, but still a lot better than paying like nearly thirty bucks plus the shipping. So you know, and the shirt was selling out. The only size they had left when I ordered it was a size small, which you know, conveniently is the size is my size. But you know, sorry for anyone else. You know, who wears larger sizes and want it, it's completely sold out. And rightly so. So anyway. And then at Walmart, I caught this new Misfit shirt. Uh, you know, if you don't know, also a, a big Misfits fan. I grew up on on Misfits, Sam Hain and Danzig. Danzig, you know, being my all-time favorite, but, you know, love a Misfits. So really cool, kind of all over print, just on the front though. Um, but you know, for only eight ninety six, you know, to get a licensed Misfit shirt, you know, for for less than ten bucks, not bad at all. And then um, some a couple from TJ Maxx. Here's a another music music themed one. And that here's the thing about me: if you don't know me well enough. You know, I am, man, I am, I love music. And the thing with me is I love all kinds of music. You know, if you know me, you know I love Britney, but I also love some Metallica, I love some Danzig, I love some, you know, even some heavier stuff. Um, I love me some Michael Jackson since back in the day as well. So I thought that was a cool shirt. They had um, another one based on, uh, I think it was Off the Wall, that's a little more old school. Uh, uh, I wasn't as much of a fan, you know, for me, kind of starting with, like, Thriller. Um, but, yeah, I would have loved one that had, like, his look from Bad. Because I actually had, when I was a kid, I had a, a, a shirt, uh, a Michael Jackson shirt from Bad. But um, this one, this one will do pretty cool. And only seven ninety nine. Oh, there's the other. You know, I get a lot of shirts from, like, TJ Maxx and Ross. Marshalls, you know, and they're always only seven ninety nine there. So again, you know, to pay like twenty bucks or even over fifteen bucks, you know, it really has to be something super worth it for me. Uh, anyway, so lastly from TJ Maxx, also this is a um, a long sleeve shirt, PlayStation. And I love that it has the uh, katakana, the Japanese 
<laughs> writing on the sleeves, which you know, I don't know exactly what this says. I, I, I want to assume it says PlayStation, but who knows, you know. Uh, so there you have it. That's my little haul of the day. Some shirts. You know, here's the thing. You know, it's like I'm realizing. So, uh, you know, this whole this whole haul, this wasn't all like just one day. This is, you know, with this much stuff, it was uh, like over a few days. Um, but I realized, so I, this arrived in the mail. And then that same day, I got this and this and this. I was like, man, I get a lot of shirts. You know, I don't know if it's a thing, but it's like, I'm also probably a t-shirt collector sometimes i feel like i get more shirts than i get toys not like exactly in quantity oh and speaking of, of becky yeah that's what i'm watching right now um anyway uh what was i saying yeah um not maybe not in equally in quantity but if you count like or exclude like Stuff like all the toys that I get um, at discount discount stores are on clearance. You know, um, I don't I don't buy as much like full retail price toys. Like very very few these days. So in some ways, even though I mean you know you can't you also can't compare since I, a lot of shirts I get you know these are discount too. But just you know. By comparison, I feel like sometimes I, I get more shirts than I do toys, and I just I just love the hell out of graphic tees. I love the hell out of wearing my graphic tees. There's a there's a little fact there. Um, my my tees actually get more use than my toys in a way. Um, anyway, that's a topic for another conversation. That's it for now. That's my holiday. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, so I'm gonna be away for for a while and or just busy. While while my wife's family is here visiting, but again, uh, I'm not I'm not saying goodbye or anything. I'm just saying, yeah, you know, I might be a little light on videos, but I'm still gonna try try to keep up and and have videos up for you guys, um, because I appreciate I truly appreciate you watching the videos. Thanks so much.